Hi, as all you can see now, this is an Android phone and I am going to install the Agama Car Launcher into this phone. So first of all, you just need to go to the Play Store and search for Agama Car Launcher and click on install. So you just wait for a while. It's about 27.96 megabyte. And there you go. So let's open it up. So it's just simple as that. It took me less than two minutes, you know, I think just one minute, you know, for me to install this. So it's pretty simple, pretty easy. This is actually exactly what I actually uh, did in my head unit because I already bought it earlier. Uh, because I've already bought it, so it's actually using the same exact configuration, same color. So, but the thing is, I can't access to all the apps which is linked to my Android head unit. So right now, if I click on the radio, nothing's gonna happen. Navigation, nothing's gonna happen because it's not being set to it. Just like um, try and change the team, perhaps. Yeah, this is how it looks like, exactly the same. So I'm going to change it to this. Yeah. So that's it. You know, this is just a very simple introduction to you guys that it is very simple to actually install into your phone or your tablet. If you guys do not have an Android head unit and you would like to try it out, this is a very good way. Yeah. Just simply install it into any of your Android tablets or phone to test it out yeah it looks like this it's pretty nice and oh apparently the volume is actually working on my phone but it's not working on the android head unit so basically that's it you know you just want to show you guys this is how you're going to install it in your phone and it's pretty simple thanks for watching guys and hopefully you find this interesting and if you have not tested it on any of your Android head units yet, or you do not have any Android head units, just put it here. Yeah, just simply install it into your phone and have a look at it. It's pretty nice, pretty good. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.